Hi, Isin here, and it is time for a track review. This time, the new vampire track, Melek Taus. Vampire is a death thrash band from Gothenburg, Sweden, that had made a splash with their 2014 debut, Vampire. Their thrash metal infused blend of death metal and the whole crypt atmosphere that they brought was met with critical acclaim, paving the way for their sophomore effort, the 2016's With Primeval Force, which cemented Vampire's place in the metal scene as a force to be reckoned with. They are now preparing to come back with their third full length this year, titled Rex and Melek Tavus is a single that they released the lyric video to just today. Now, in an odd decision, the band seems to have decided to release the final track on the album tracklist as their first single, which is really something that I'm kind of scratching my head over. The whole point of having a final track in an album is to both close it and to leave the audience wanting more. I kind of feel like they spoiled the album for me with this this one. But enough of that. What do we find in this track? Well, first of all, Vampire comes to us with an interesting organic blend of heavy metal, thrash metal, death metal, and black metal. The more prominent influences seem to be heavy and black, even though death and thrash elements are still present, they are sort of in the back. Most of the song, or most of the riffs and drum styles that are heard throughout the song, are more reminiscent of heavy and black metal than anything else, which of course brings with it impeccably dark, almost tangibly oppressive atmosphere. This is the type of mood that you would expect to hear from a black metal band that you seldom hear from less horror-oriented death metal acts. The song follows a start-to-finish loose type of structure. It's not a verse-hook-verse type thing. Although there is a riff that repeats twice throughout the song, there isn't really all that much repetition either. The song's opening act has more ferocity and in-your-face brutality than the rest of it, because after it manages to kick your teeth in with this type of intro, it sort of then decides to show off its guitars, which is the driving point of this track. The guitar riffs and their endless variations on rather familiar but still incredibly tasteful heavy metal adjacent black metal influenced and completely unique type riffing. One thing I really liked about the opening act is some very impressive and very nice little cymbal tricks from Abysmal Candor, the band's drummer. I, I love a drummer who plays with cymbals in the way that he does in the opening, and he is a force to be reckoned with on this track also, delivering simple but incredibly punchy and incredibly in-your-face rhythms underneath. The vocals are in that mid-range sort of violent shrieking. It is kind of like a Death Growls meets Black Metal Shrieks kind of Way. But the one thing about the way that the vocals are processed in Vampire songs, which has also proven to be a deal breaker for me with other bands like Blue Hummingbird on the left or Vault Wraith, has been the fact that there is a delay effect on these vocals. Yes, the effect is far less noticeable than it was in their first album or the other bands that I have mentioned, but it is still there and I have to say I am really not a fan of delay effects on lead vocals. You can use delay effects if you want to be artsy about spoken word sections, for instance, but I for one do not like them in my death vocals. It doesn't really create atmosphere for me or develop some sort of otherworldly sound. It just feels silly. The song's lyrics, as well as its name, is inspired by the Yezidi archangel Melek Tavus, also known as the Peacock Angel. Apparently, as one of the seven archangels that were given dominion over the world by God, Melek Tavus was the one who was asked to bow before Adam and refused to. I have read that because of this particular act of not bowing before God's most cherished creation, the Melek Tavus is often compared to Satan in the way that, you know, Lucifer was supposed to bow before Adam. And for a band like this, 
this is kind of an interesting twist. You don't really see a demonology outside of paganism and or Christianity in black metal songs. I know that you sometimes do. Not saying no bands do that. I'm just saying you don't really run into it all that often. So this is an interesting twist. And the lyrical content of the song seems to be written around this fact. It's basically about the herald of some sort of apocalypse because the Melek Tavus is supposed to be an angel, a type of angel that passes judgment on mankind, giving reward or punishment based on their performance. Apropos of that, I think this song is Melek Tavus' musical arm here to punish all of us gleeful heretics just bathing in our heresy with wild abandon. So if this is basically the shape of things to come, I think the new album Rex is going to be like its name and it is going to wreck quite a bit. Rex will be out June 19th, 2020 via Century Media Records. If you have listened to this song, let me know what you thought about it in the comments below. If you haven't, go listen to it. It's really, really good. Until next time, this is Isin. Peace out.